Kung ikaw ay nagsisimula pa lang gumamit ng Google Forms, I am telling you, napaka-user friendly ng application na ito. Dahil kung ikaw ay gumagamit na ng Google, well, hindi mo kailangan magalinlangan. Because the features of it is also the same with the other Google applications. The first thing na kailangan mo ay siyempre ang iyong Google account. Dahil from your Google account, kailangan mo siyang idiretsyo sa inyong Google Drive. Dahil doon kayo mag start sa paggawa ng Google Form. Ang nakikita nyo ngayon sa aking screen ay ang Google Drive interface. Dito nyo makikita lahat ng mga forms na malatapos nyo gawin. Kung makikita nyo sa left side ng aking Google Drive interface ay mayroong Priority, My Drive, at Share Device. At para simula ng paggawa ng Google Form, i-click lamang ang plus sign na may nakalagay ng word na new sa ibaba ng Google Drive logo. Right after nyan, i-click natin ang More, lalabas ang Google Form at Blank Form and From a Template. For the first part, once na i-click natin ang from a template, manong lalabas ng mga generated template mula sa Google Forms. Manong tayong exit, assessment, worksheet, and course evaluation. Ito ay gagamit natin if ayaw nyong gumawa ng form gamit ang generated one. So, in this video, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano gumawa ng form from the scratch. From the blank form, ang una natin gagawin para makagawa ng quiz ay pumunta sa settings. Ayan ay merong gear icon. Once you click yan, malong kayong tatlong parte na kailangan ninyong pagdaanan. We have general, presentation, and quizzes. To make the quiz possible, kailangan natin bago ng mga ibang part yan. So first is to limit, to check, limit to one response. Since ang ating student ay able lang para makagawa ng isang quiz. The next one ay presentation. If you want to know which competency ang medyo nadalian sila or nahihirapan sila, you could check show progress bar and also you can reorder the questions by clicking shuffle question order. Right after nyan, dadako naman tayo kay quizzes. Sa part naman ng quizzes, first thing na kailangan natin gawin ay to turn on make it as a quiz. Then, meron tayong release grade dito. Pwede nyo siyang gawin as immediately after each submission o kaya na later. Pero since nagagamit tayo ng essay question, it's better to use later. Right after natin mabago ang settings, kung mapapansin nyo, meron lumabas doon na email address. So, uncheck natin yung collecting email address since that we are only dealing with a quiz. So, after noon mabago, let us uh, change the title or the name of this form or this quiz. Uh, for example, ang ginamit natin dito ay Meiosis Exit Quiz. Okay. So, nakadepende yan sa kung anong topic ang, ang inyong uh, gagawan ng form or gagawan ng quiz. And you could also add description or instruction to your students. Now, dumako naman tayo sa question. Ang question ay nahati sa iba't ibang parts. We have here short answer, paragraph, checkbox, drop down, file upload, and so on. Depende yun sa inyo ngayon kung anong uh, part ang gagamitin nyo. And for the first one, ang gagamitin ko naman here is uh, multiple choice. So first, I will uh, type the question. So since na meiosis ang aking topic na, okay. Gagawin natin siya ngayon na, uh, for example here, how many haploid, uh, haploid cells are formed during uh, one cell of meiosis? Ayan. And then, we will fill up the choices. No. Of course, we need to make this question required para hindi nila ma-skip yung question na yan. Then, put the value for that question. For this uh, one, I'll make it 2. Then, you could uh, provide feedback dun sa nakakuha ng malung sagot. And 
and then also uh, magbibigay ka ng link on the other hand of course kung malang feedback ng incorrect answer maganda tayo sa part naman ng correct answer and we could uh, make also link and then check natin yung right response then click natin yung done Okay, at tayo ng question. This time, gagawin naman natin ay short answer. For the question, I have here, uh, what piece do sister chromatids separate? And then, i-click natin yung, okay, short answer. Tapos, click natin yung required. And then, put natin value ng uh, question na to. Of course, first mo gagawin natin, uh, give the correct answer. And then, give tayo ng feedback to encourage the learners doon sa mismong uh, question na yun. Then, right after nyan, we could also provide link to support our details. Then, click natin save. Then, check natin yung done. Another question naman tayo, uh, gawin naman natin na uh, paragraph. So, we are requiring them to answer in a long text, no? In this question, I have, uh, I'll type, in three sentences, explain shortly how meiosis works. So, we are requiring them to answer in long. Then, check natin si required. And then, give tayo ng feedback if... if Ano yung mangyayari sa so, uh, kanilang sagot later? So here, uh, naglay ako dito ng very well. It seems on, uh, it only seems that you really master meiosis. Then we could also provide link to support our question and also add the YouTube link or YouTube URL. Yan. Then check natin save. Then put tayo ng value. Then done. So all in all, ito ay 15 items. I-preview natin siya para makita natin kung ano itsura na ating quiz. So, kung nakita nyo, nag-shuffle yung uh, kanyang order kanina, no? Hindi naman yung uh, ganyan kanina yung order nila. So, balik naman tayo doon sa interface ng ating uh, form. How to uh, send this form? We could send it via URL. Uh, short, just shorten it and then send it to your uh, classroom that's how we do it so those are the steps that we need on how to create google for google form or google form as a quiz hope you understand it well